guys, welcome back to part 6 of Border Heart is I'm a sketch, okay? Let's go. But I really care for you, Calvin. I hope we get that closeness back again. Me too, Monica. I'm glad to hear it. Can I ask you something? Tell me to mind my own business, but... You can ask me anything. Do you have anywhere to live at the moment? Well, I have some savings, so I've been staying at a hotel for the past couple of nights. Since my dad's girlfriend told me I wasn't welcome, <laughs> I moved out. And are you planning on going back to a hotel after a visit? Yes, just for a few days until I find... No! What do you mean? I mean, you're, going... you're not going to a hotel. You're staying here for as long as you want. No, I couldn't. Please, Calvin, I'm not just being polite. I want you to stay here. I know you don't have any family. And I promised your mom years ago I would always look after you. And I broke that promise when she died. I let your dad take you away. You had no choice. You didn't have any rights. I know you tried. Maybe I could have done more. Don't say that, Monica. I'm sure you tried your best. I'll stay. Will you? Thank you for your offer. I'd love to stay. Until I get myself sorted. Oh, Calvin, that's fantastic. You've made me so happy. I wasn't sure you how you'd react. I wanted you to know I was doing it out of love, not pity. I know, Monica. I know how much of a lovely person you are. Oh my god, this is the best news ever. Wait until I tell the girls. Mwah. Wow, she surprised me with that kiss on the lips. <clears throat> okay, this is just about the time when a friendly kiss ends. Her lips feel so nice, but this is going on about half a second too long. Mwah. I need to stop feeling so weird about this. She's probably just overly affectionate. I'm sorry, I'm just so happy that you're staying. See? It doesn't mean anything. We will have a nice family dinner tonight. The four of us. Sounds nice. Okay, now you definitely need to unpack. So I'll leave you to it. Unless you have anything else you want to talk about. Let's talk about you. Is everything okay? Okay? Yes, of course. Why do you ask? Well, it's just... I noticed that... That I've had a few drinks this morning. Well, okay, yes, I had a few glasses of wine this morning. It's just that I was very nervous, and it seemed like I was waiting ages for you to arrive. So I had to, some, some wine to help my nerves. Oh god, this is so embarrassing. I'm sorry, I don't mean to embarrass you. I just wanted to check if everything was okay. Um, yes, just nerves. I don't usually drink in the morning. If that's what you're thinking, I just didn't realize. It was so obvious. Maybe I had one or two more glasses than I have, that I should have. Anyway, you should probably head down to Katie. She'll be wondering where you are. Yeah. I'll go check on Jenna and leave you to do, to get changed in your swimwear. Okay, talk to you later. Okay, love thy neighbor. Fifteen minutes later. Okay, all unpacked. Looks like I'm staying here for now. <clears throat> no new messages, not much surprise. I only checked last night. While I'm here, I'll check my sent items for this mystery email. Nothing. I suspected. No emails sent to Monica that I forgot about. Right, let's get changed and hit the pool. It is weird to just walk through the house in my swimwear. In a house with three females. It'll be fine, it's only swimwear. Unless I bump into Jenna. Poor girl would probably die of embarrassment. Right, to the pool. Well, it's about time. Did you get lost up there? I was just unpacking and... Monica, aren't you going to introduce me? Who is this? Yes, this is Calvin. Calvin, this is Zara. Zara is a good friend and neighbor. So, this is Calvin, huh? For a minute there, I thought Monica had finally got herself a lover. <laughs> I was thinking, it's about time. It's been way too long since Monica... Zara, please! No inappropriate jokes. Calvin is like a son to me. I know. I've searched so much and heard so long about you, Calvin. And then nobody told me you were like to walk around half-naked. No wonder everyone is on making a fuss. I don't. 
I was just going to the pool and... Ah, relax, kid. I'm just joking with you. Don't mind her, Karen. She likes making people feel uncomfortable. Yes, I do. Monica, there is definitely no booze left in here. There was the last bottle. What sort of celebration is this when you have no alcohol? I think there might be some in the garage. I think I'll go check. Although Calvin doesn't approve of me drinking. Oh, I never said that. But it was implied. As you can see, um, it's not my fault, it's Zara. Zara is such a bad influence. Guilty as charged. I'm a terrible influence. I'm surprised you're going to leave me here alone with Calvin while you're in the garage. I might corrupt him in the five minutes you are gone and I have him drinking when you come back. Leave him alone, Zara. Calvin, Kate is waiting at the pool for you. I'll leave him alone. For now. I promise I won't lay a finger on him. Today, anyway. <laughs> oh, behave, Zara. Don't be nasty to Calvin. Back in a minute. Nasty? Do I look like I could be nasty to anyone? Monica is so protective to you. Do you need protection, Calvin? I... I don't need protection. Monica's the only one worried. Oh, confident boy, aren't we? She has nothing to worry about. I'm heartless, really. I just like messing with people. So, you just arrived this morning. Settling in? Yeah, they have made me feel very welcome. So, I see. You're already comfortable enough to go around half naked. I told you, I'm going to the pool. I know, and I already told you, I'm joking. Me and Monica see a lot of models in our business, so guy and his swimwear is nothing new. I'm used to seeing it. And besides, I'm not complaining. I always enjoy a good male physique. You should try it sometime. Try what? Modeling. We are always on the lookout for new talent, and you have a good look. No need to answer you, just think about it. I only have three minutes left. Three minutes? Yes, remember? I told Monica I'd corrupt you in five minutes. Well, she's gone. Maybe you are making incorrect assumptions. How so? Maybe I'm already corrupt. Really? I like it. And speaking of corruption, I hope you're planning on behaving yourself in this house. Meaning? Meaning Monica's girls aren't exactly ugly, so you better behave yourself. That's really none of your business. Well, Monica is my best friend and it would break her heart if either of her daughters... You know. So I'd make it my business. Okay. Noted. Well, just be nice to Monica and the girls and we'll have no problem. Of course I will. Well, I'm not going to be able to turn you to drink in the next four minutes. So you might as well head to the pool. Enjoy. Why don't you join us? What? Why don't you grab a bikini and join us? Maybe I will. Thanks for the invite. What's wrong? Uh, you're blocking the way. Can you excuse me, please? Nonsense. There's plenty of room to sleep by. Unless you're calling me fat? Uh, of course not. See? Plenty of room. Uh, there, there will have been more room. If you'd move. Listen, the day I take instruction from a kid, half will freeze over. Whether it's work, home, or anywhere else, I'm the one that gives instructions. If this is what she wants. Hey, you trying to push me off the back of this chair. <laughs> I asked you to move. Enjoy the pool. I think we'll be talking later. See ya. So guys, I think I'm going to close the video here. I hope you enjoyed and see you in the next video. Bye!